Many farmers these days are looking for ways to increase net farm income. Some are doing roadside markets, others are being very creative. Like this farming couple we're about to meet. Put your three-way on that one right there, Tom, Tom. Ho, 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 ho. Love it. Do it for the do it for the people. Been doing it for almost 31 years. If the good Lord willing, I'm gonna do it till I ain't able to do it. I really enjoy it. I started doing this. We started in August, I think, repairing stuff. And I, I ain't got another week, and I got a lot to do. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I got a lot to do. I say between 15, and 18 weeks. That's three or four hours work, and then she works inside, and when I get done out here, and I know she could, like, it's hard for her to climb the ladder and stuff, so I go in and help her at night, and then when I, I usually work like one or two o'clock in the morning, then I milk a hundred dairy cows too, plus do this. So I, it keeps me pretty well busy, let's put it that way. But I enjoy it, I, I ain't got no complaints, I love it. without two or three characters, four or five, maybe a couple, three hundred lights. And uh, my mother lived up across the road like where my dairy farm mm -hmm. is. And she was telling me how nice it looked. And I always like to say I love Christmas. And that's when I start adding on and adding on for 30 now, but we've been doing it 31 years now. We've been together almost 45 years, so. So we, <laughs> we kind of We kind of grew up, we was children. I was 15, he was 17 when we married. So we grew up together. Yeah, that's what we got four daughters, and really that's why, how it started, with decorating for them. Yes. And then just grew up, you know, just kept growing. Merry Christmas! Nine to 10,000, we know of. Some nights we have 1,500 to 2,000 people. They come from everywhere. They caught Cincinnati, Ohio, they come down from there, up in Indiana, and, and when they come in and they're, they go, oh, they just can't believe it. <laughs> it's breathtaking like Las Vegas lit up. In the daytime it's plain and when we turn it on it turns into just like Las Vegas and, then, and everybody loves it. We wanted to come see the lights and I told her we might see Santa Claus and if she's good while she's here she might get something special. Right? Do you gotta be good? I came here a couple years ago but it's I didn't go in the garage but it seems like it's a lot bigger. And it's it's pretty crazy. It's a lot of stuff. It's more than it's almost like going to a little theme park or something. Yeah, it's pretty wild that you drive 15 minutes and don't see anything, and then all of a sudden it pops up. Um, we brought my in-laws, and they thought we we're going to the middle of nowhere, and then all of a sudden we popped up. So it's a pretty neat place. Since Santa Claus lives here now, when he passes here, that's where Santa Claus lives. So. And then uh, when they come and tell me their stories and how, how they appreciate it. And I've had them come from Owensboro, Somerset. We've had them come in, visit people from our, even from Argentina, Venezuela. I hope to God, Paul and I can keep doing it. As long as we're able, we will. We will. We will. One right. way or another, we will do it. Yeah.